All right, so this lesson is to show you how to look at your safe assign report on an assignment that you have turned in electronically. Um, safe assign is a database software that Blackboard and many other online platform learning platforms use, um, and it is a plagiarism detection database. If you've ever heard of turnitin.com, that is pretty much the same thing as safe assign. Um, most colleges and universities are going to use something like this. I know KSU, um, I believe they still use Blackboard for their online learning, um, so they use Safe Assign, but if not, they surely use something similar like Turnitin. So the main reason why I use Safe Assign is because, um, not that I assume anyone is going to purposely plagiarize, but it does help you, the student, see how much of your writing really is yours, especially when we're writing anything that has um, citations in it. The other thing is um, any student who has had me before that is someone you know or a sibling, if they have submitted the assignment to my blog and you attempt to use their work and submit it as your own, it's going to tell me that. So that's also another uh, issue that I've had in the past. So it's for, it is frankly why I use it, you know, just because I don't want you attempting to submit work from other students or siblings that have had me in the past. So I'm gonna show you how this works. It's great experience for you. If you ever take a CVA course with Cobb County or if you ever take a course with um, dual enrollment or anything like that, you really need to see how this works. And my sole purpose in this course is to prepare you for college or the opportunity to go to college, you know, um, if you decide you're not going to go and you decide to go one day, you know, you just need to have some of this experience. Okay, so um, in order to see the Safe Assign report on any of your assignments, you will obviously log into the blog. Um, and in order to turn in an assignment in Blackboard, you have to be logged in as you, right? So we're logged in as the fake student here. Instead of going into courses where you normally go, you're going to go down here to grades. Um, this is where I showed you in the last lesson. You can see the grade on the assignment and the feedback I gave you, right? Remember that the grades that appear in here, um, I have to transfer over to student view which is where all of your actual grades are housed for Cobb County. So um, this just shows the grade you got on the assignment and my electronic feedback, but I have to enter these grades into um, student view. The, these two things are not connected. So just, just remember that. Okay, so you're gonna click on grades and um, you should know this screen from the last lesson. So um, I'm gonna hit view all work. There's lots of stuff in here just because this is um, a pretend student account that I use to show a lot of demonstrations. So I'm gonna scroll down to this pretend assignment um, that I have set up to show you how Safe Assign works. So any assignment that you turn in, you can go back into and you can see your Safe Assign report and you can also download it and save it or print it. A lot of times kids forget where they've saved a document or they lose their file, um, their computer crashes or whatever. This is also a nice feature because you can go back into any assignment that you submit electronically and all you have to do is click on this little arrow and it will download your assignment for you, okay? And you have it again. So there should never be any reason why you can't go back to an assignment and find it again if you've lost it somehow. That's another reason why I really encourage everyone to use Office 365, um, at least for school, because at least you know it's there, it's always accessible, um, everything's saved in one place, and you're never going to lose anything. Okay, so for your safe assign report, and I've sort of um, jokingly called this student Joe Plagiarizer, right? So this guy has submitted an essay, right? Um, notice it's called why I should write my own essays. Ha ha. Um, so over here, you see uh, this thing that says safe assign, okay? And it's going to tell you how much of your document matches to something else, whether it be something on the internet or another student's assignment, okay? Okay. 
Now, just because there's a match of any percentage does not mean you've plagiarized, all right? So I'm going to show you that. I've got three different attempts set up in here to show you the difference. So we're going to go to attempt one, the first submission, okay? Here you can see there is a 51% match. That doesn't mean that I'm going to look at that and say, oh, they've plagiarized, okay? It just means that there is stuff in there that you have taken from somewhere that I am hoping is going to be cited and has a Works Cited page with it, right? So um, what you're seeing here is the same thing that I would see as a teacher. So we're gonna hit Safe Assign, and it is going to um, generate a report, okay? Now when you submit a document, it, it can take sometimes up to 30 minutes for the report to go through. So you're not gonna be able to see your report right away. Um, so, you know, I would leave time when you're submitting an assignment to me that has any kind of citations or anything you think you have copied from somewhere, I would leave some time for you to be able to see the report before you actually, um, you know, say that you've turned it in to me. Because if for some reason it looks like you've plagiarized and you want to change something, you can at least go back and resubmit the document again. So, we're going to view the report. And um, as you can see, it does not put it in format, like it's not in MLA format, right? Um, it's just going to be the text. But what it does is it highlights and numbers and color codes anything that it sees as an exact or virtually exact match to another source, okay? So um, what then you do is you go over here and you look at the um, report and you see what it means, okay? So what it says here is that there are two things from an institutional database, which would be like SafeAssign or some other school's database where the same paper has been turned in or something that's cited in that paper that you have also cited um, has made a match, okay? So it's matching to the first thing it sees as a, an exact match. That's why it's not always necessarily plagiarism. If you cite something from a source, okay, and um, it is a piece of text that some student in Idaho also cited for another paper, it's going to match it if it's the first thing it got to in the database. So that's what I mean. It doesn't always mean you've plagiarized. That's why it's up to the teacher to investigate. Generally, if the percentage is higher than 30%, I do go in and look. Um, if it's around 30%, it's, it's not matching to enough that is going to be plagiarized. So um, I'm going to hit this little arrow, and it is telling me that it has matched to something. Now, non-existent paper, I'm not sure what that means, um, but a lot of times it has maybe what it matched to was taken down, um, and it's already in their database. But the point is it's matching to something. So, you know, it's my job to look, and this is where it'll highlight for me um, and, you know, color code for me what has been uh, matched. So it's, it's my job to look and go, hmm, did they cite this, or is this like something they copied and pasted from the Internet and try to pass off as their own, right? Um, so as you can see with the um, pink and the blue here, these two things – have not been cited. Okay, so it's kind of a red flag um, for me, but, um, oh, wait a minute. Actually, I'm sorry. This is, the this is the submission where they have cited it. So you can see right here, parentheses, alcohol facts and statistics. Apparently that's where they got this information from. So I'm like, okay, I see. They've gotten the information from somewhere and they have cited it. Um, this one, um, does not appear to have a citation with it. Um, again, I have to decide, is it enough that I feel like it's been purposely plagiarized or are there like parts of it that maybe I can tell are just common phrases that a lot of people use, like George Washington was the first president of the United States. You know, those are things that could come up in a lot of papers that are not plagiarized. They're just common phrases. So um, in this case, it's not really showing me where it came from, like, the student's name or the organization, but I, at least it's showing me a match, okay? All right, so we're going to look at the next submission example. So I'm going to go to attempt two. 
And this is showing a the same exact paper. Um, well, actually, something similar, right? Um, she showed me a paper, and it's showing me that there is a 98% match this time. So that is a huge red flag to me, obviously. Um, now, if you submit your assignment, right? And then you realize you've made a mistake, and then you go back and submit another attempt at it, it's going to match to your paper. So that's one reason why you might see a high match, okay? And so again, I have to go in and look at that. And sometimes I immediately can see, oh, they submitted their assignment already one time. And sometimes it's obviously not that. So um, I'm gonna hit the safe assign report and see what's going on with this one. Okay, so this one I set up purposely to show you some scenarios. Um, you can see there's a lot of color coding in here. Um, this looks like the entire document except for the heading is plagiarized, okay? So now I need to go over and see if it, in fact it is. It says that there are three internet sources that this information came from. One is a website called Procon, so is another one, and another one is called Circle or something like that. So I'm gonna click here, open matching source and it's going to take me to the website where the person, the student, got the information, okay? So um, it has opened up another website, all right? And the student got the information from this page somewhere, okay? So then it's my job to look and say, well, did they cite it? Is it on their Works Cited page? Um, and if they didn't, then I'm, there's no other option but that they plagiarized. Um, so essay, let's see, Sarah has tested been a part of American education since the mid 1800s, blah, blah, blah. So I'm gonna go look on here and I'm just gonna kind of look to see if I can find that anywhere. Um, if I really care to investigate that deeply. Um, it's come from somewhere on here and I may or may not have enough patience to go and investigate that far. Um, professors will, here's some stuff down here. Um, but the bottom line is I don't care because I know it came from here. And when I look back at the paper, um, it is not cited, okay? And so same thing with the one here in blue that came from a different website. So I'm gonna click on um, this blue right here, and I'm gonna see, hmm, where did that come from, right? So I'm gonna click on that. And it's going to open yet another website, and apparently it came from procon.org, okay? And if I look back at the document, failures in the education system have been blamed on rising poverty levels, blah, blah, blah. I am going to see if I can find that anywhere in here real quickly, if I care to, um, right here. Failures in the education system have been blamed on rising poverty levels. Okay, they got that from this website. They did not cite it. And y'all, what I need to emphasize is it doesn't matter one sentence. One sentence is plagiarism. Um, you know, I may be a little more forgiving of something like that, at first because you may not realize you've done it or you know whatever but I can tell you a college professor is not going to be forgiving one sentence equals an F okay so this is why I'm showing you this because it's so important for you to understand all right so that is how you view the originality reports for safe assign um, this is what I see when I go into safe assign and um, if you ever get a report that it might look like you plagiarized and you think you need to fix it, you need to fix it and resubmit it, okay? And you might wanna put in the right comments box, hey, Ms. Williams, I resubmitted this document, it's gonna look like it's got a match, blah, blah, blah. But I will always look at the most recent attempt. So that's the one I grade. If I allow you two attempts, I always look straight at the second one. I don't even look at the first one. And that's the end of this lesson.